getting a comment once saying, stop calling it the woods, it's called the bush. When you call it the woods, it sounds like you're talking about some mystical, magical place. It made me chuckle a little bit. I know it's a cultural difference thing, but for me, that sums it up perfectly. The woods is just that. Out getting a white ash tree cleaned up today that came down one of the last storms. This is my favorite species of tree and it's something that I'm a little worried about here coming in the future. Uh, this tree, I mean it's a nice hardwood, it provides nice shade in the summer months, uh, burns hot and dries. It's the fastest drying firewood out there. So the emerald ash borer was originally found in southeastern Michigan back in 2002. They believe it came in on some sort of shipping material coming from Asia. It's a native bug over there, however the ash tree has no natural defense against it and that's why it's just being destroyed. So Minnesota is definitely going to have it in for them. Uh, we have over 1 billion ash trees in our state. I think the landscape is going to change drastically. It's sad to think about. I don't know if my potentially great granddaughter or grandson uh, will really get to see ash trees very much or it could be a very rare occurrence. They say it's going to be a snowball sort of effect. Right now we got a little over 12 counties infected here in Minnesota. So if it continued at the rate it's going right now, roughly two counties per year, uh, that's about 45 years or something from now. But they say it's gonna be a little bit of a snowball effect. You know, that, that population of that ash borer is gonna to continue to grow and it's gonna start consuming or destructing quicker. So a lot of times people see our wood piles and they think we have some sort of grudge with trees, uh, but that couldn't be further from the case. The planet and trees are something that we care greatly about. Um, we just go in and we pretty much clean up the, the forest floor and that's what heats us. Firewood is a uh, as close to carbon neutral fuel source as you can get. Uh, obviously you're going to have a little bit of fuel that's burned when you're cutting unless you go out with a handsaw or an axe uh, and transport. And so, by cutting the stuff off your own land or very local, you one, help reduce the risk of spreading diseases of trees, and two, you help reduce your carbon footprint. The good news is things are not set in stone. We still have an opportunity. If we can stay on top of this, slow this down, maybe science can help catch up. Currently right now the pesticides that are available have to be applied every year or the new one that came out every two to three years. They're relatively expensive so it's not a very sustainable solution. So a couple simple things we can do. One right off the bat is stop moving firewood and two I think paying attention to this issue. Let other people know about this. Keep it in the back of your mind. Uh, the more people that know about this, the less chance someone's going to load up their vehicle heading up north or to go camping for the weekend with some potentially infested firewood. So if this doesn't scream, buy locally, I don't know what will. Uh, fortunately, we live in a world with a lot of complex problems and challenges. Uh, the business world has changed quite a bit. Everything's done globally and it's just part of life today. I don't think anyone foresaw this coming, but unfortunately, this has unfolded and it's something that we have to uh, look in the face and try to figure out a solution for or try our best to help make a difference in it. 
So for us, we're going to continue to try to buy locally. I know it's a challenge at times, but it does a lot of good. It helps reduce the risk of this as well as support your local community. We're just looking to try to keep these woods as healthy as we can. So I encourage you to share the message.